Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Horse Ranch Challenge, a hotel in The Sims where we're boarding horses and people. So everyone here is just pitching in to help out with the ranch, and Juliana is working on her nectar-making aspiration as the next step in her life. That's the final goal that she has, and I don't think that we will really start a family with Juliana because it just doesn't fit her personality. Oh, and someone is getting attacked by bees. Sorry about that, Angela. So we have Angela Pleasant staying with us, and then we have Angelo Moreland. And also, Jay Robles. Um, where are you, Jay? Okay, some of the areas around here are kind of hard because they're not that open. So, Jay is staying here with his wife, Dolly, and his little girls, Juanita and Tala. Then we also have Lei Akana and Kori Nishidaki. Now, why are these clothes not going into the hamper? Are you messy or something? No, you're not messy. The clothes should go into the hampers. Now, Juliana is just walking around taking care of some of the chickens and some of the things on the ranch. And she likes doing that, so I don't think that I will have the ranch hand do everything, but he's also here to help out. We also have a butler somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there she is. So we have a butler now instead of a nanny because I think the butler does a better job. And the nanny was just getting annoying because she wouldn't eat and she wouldn't sleep. And I had to freeze all of her motives. So I don't like doing that. Now, I think we'll probably buy some horses again because we did get rid of all of our horses in order to purchase this place. Uh, but, but we only have 2684 simoleons. So after Juliana is done with her meal, I'm going to send her to go collect all of the prairie grass in the area. All right. And while she's doing that, we can take a look at the new hotel. So this is the new Horse Ranch Hotel, and it's nice that it's not winter anymore and the spring has thawed all of the snow. So I built this a while back with the whole goal of getting to this point. And it has a few horse things here and there, but mostly we're focusing on nectar making. So I didn't really focus on the horses. There are There is a barn over here, however. And that means that we will need to get horses that are not free spirit. So the open barn is cool looking. And then we have the garden out here with the chickens. And the only plants we will be growing is plants in order to make nectar because you actually cannot make nectar unless you grow the plants. So we have this one outhouse out here still for our restroom facilities. And then we have the bathhouse over here. And the bathhouse has two bathtubs and four showers. And the Sims will never use the showers. I don't know why Sims prefer taking a bath versus a shower, but they all do. So we're kind of stuck with just two mediocre bathtubs, unless I have Juliana upgrade them. Now, as far as the main hotel building, I have a basement, of course, with all of the coffins for any vampire guests that we may have. And the laundry is now no longer wash buckets. And I had to upgrade all of the dryers to be lintless because we do not want fires down here. And then we have the wine area. So this is where we're going to be making our nectar, or I should say nectar area, but Anyway, this is where we're making the nectar, and Juliana's bedroom is just right here. And we have a bedroom for the butler. I did not make a bedroom for the ranch hand, because I did not expect to have live-in services. So we only have the bedroom for the butler down here, and the ranch hand has to sleep with everybody else. So this is the main common area with the dining room and kitchen. 
And then we also have some toys over here, just in case we have some children and toddlers. And then we have the kids bathroom over here that is actually just a toddler potty and a diaper changing station. And then we have the piano and saloon area where we have a bar and a little office area hut over here. We have some computers. We also have the vet station so that I can make horse treats if I need to in order to age them up. We have a nice swimming area out here in a pond. And this is kind of like a built-in pond and swimming pool. So they can actually swim in this water in the middle and then the pond is just surrounding it so i wanted it to kind of be like a pond you could swim in and that's the best you can do with the sense all right and on the second floor we have the bedrooms but this bedroom area is mainly for families so if you have a toddler a baby or an infant you can sleep in these rooms with your small children and then up on the next floor, we have the hostel area. So this is basically for individuals to come and sleep in an open area. And I have all the suitcases for them to store their goods, but they're going to be an open sleeping plan up here. So all of the kids and teenagers have to sleep up here unless they have a single parent, then they can sleep in the single parent's bed. But if they have two parents, then the parents are going to sleep in here with the smaller children, and then the older children are going to sleep up here. All right, and I think Juliana is actually done gathering all of the prairie grass. So since we're on a budget, we're going to try and keep this fire pit stocked with food because I don't have enough money right now. And what did you find in the prairie grass? Oh, we got some bottles of nectar that are not aged. Well, Juliana has started her nectar making journey and we're just going to make some apple nectar because we don't have any plants grown right now that we can actually get ingredients from. So we have to buy them, which makes it really expensive. I think I might make as much as possible and then sell them on the selling table just because that'll make things go a little quicker. All right, time to figure out what horses we want. Oh, I like Lily. She's friendly, mellow, and needy. Oh, but she's an elder horse. Hot Pursuit is an elder. Okay, too many elders. We got Nay Slayer, No Free Spirits, Prime, Brave, Aggressive, and Defiant. I'm purchasing a horse. I'm not going to buy a horse that has Aggressive and Defiant. I don't want free spirit. I don't want free spirit. Am I going to have to get an elder horse? Okay, she's mellow, friendly, and needy, which is not the best, but at least it's not free spirit. Okay, we'll go with Justice, who is mellow, friendly, and needy. I usually don't like the friendly and needy horses because they're always running up to Sims and interrupting what they're doing in order to talk to them. But it seems like even if they're not friendly and not needy, they still do the same thing. Hi, Morgan. You're still a teen. Um, yeah, you shouldn't really be a teen, but you can't stay here. And why is she at that door? I'm pretty sure that's not my front door. It is the front door. Why? This should be the front door. <laughs> okay, we fixed that. Now we should probably get another horse. Oh, you are pretty. Her eyes are just enormous. I'm not sure if that was on purpose or if that breed is just like that. All right, we need one more horse in order to breed. So let's try to get a male horse. All right, taking a look at the rescue horses this time. We can get defiant, needy, and aggressive. Now, Shu is mellow, defiant, and fearful. It seems like sometimes the rescue horses don't really have that many bad traits because defiant, I, I really don't want a defiant horse, but this one is only independent, defiant, and mellow. And that's actually not that bad. I've seen horses that you have to purchase for a thousand smoleons be worse. But I guess we don't really want a defiant horse because we're 
raising trail horses here. And the only other one is a foal that is also defiant. So we'll try to buy a horse for a thousand simoleons. Okay, the adult stallion is friendly, brave, and a free spirit. Or we have energetic, defiant, and independent. Again, with a defiance. I don't like that. And then this one is aggressive. There are basically no stallions with, with traits that are suitable for a ranch where people go to ride horses that need to be tame. I guess I might have to look again at another time. Okay, Lei Akana has the become a parent aspirational goal. So I guess we should have her have a science baby or get pregnant somehow. Getting pregnant is free. Let's see if Angelo would be interested. He's flirty. Oh no, we have a monster under the bed. Yeah, I knew all of these single beds out in the open would be a bad idea because of the monster. But hey, we're just going to go with it. Well, we couldn't make friends. No, don't go wake everyone up. That's the one bad thing about having the kids. No, go to the bathroom. You go back to sleep. Oh, after you get stung by bees. You're just having the worst luck, Angela. That's the second time. Well, we were our level three out of five for nectar making skill. And we've made three bottles of nectar. That doesn't, well, three excellent bottles. Okay, so maybe some of the bottles weren't excellent, but I kind of think I didn't really make that many. I maybe made three or four. So I know that selling them on the selling table will not make us progress towards our 100,000 simoleons of selling nectar, but I'm not sure what to do about that because to be honest, we need to make a million simoleons. So maybe when the nectar is not worth very much money and I need a lot of money, then we will use the selling table. And then we'll work on the aspirational goal when we start talking to the ne nectar making guy because I think that he gives you credit for it and you get a slightly better price from him. But... The best price is on the selling table, of course, at 300% markup. And I'm pretty sure you don't get credit for that. You might get credit from selling sh directly from your inventory, but this is only 60 simoleons. Yeah, I'm not going to sell that for 60 simoleons. Well, I guess Dolly and Jay have decided to woohoo without my intervention. Okay, have fun, guys. Well, you two made a mess out here. Hopefully she didn't get pregnant. I think I have Risky Woohoo on, but it's very low percentage. Okay, we definitely have to hook up Angelo and Lail, Lay La I, I don't I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. I should look that up. But Lay, we'll just call her Lay for right now. But they have good compatibility and Angelo even has a crush on her. And they're autonomously talking to each other. And they're having their first kiss. I'll leave it at that just for now. I know that she wants to have a child, but we're not going to move that fast. You guys can just talk and whatever happens, happens. Oh, we can make energy nectar now. That's awesome. So yeah, that escalated quickly. I just basically didn't wait. We're going to try for a baby and see what happens. I don't know why some of the laundry is not going into the basket. Okay, you're a slob. That makes sense. But before, I had someone else do it, and I don't think they were slobs. Or lazy. Lazy Sims will also do it. Oh, I think that was the sound of the fox getting into my chicken coop. All right. Well, I got to watch the fox. The fox will kill my chickens, and there he's got an egg. Is that a hatchable egg? No, it's not hatchable. Okay, Mr. Fox, you can have that egg. I'm not upset with you. You can have it. Only downside is I cannot check if she's pregnant with a toilet and speed it up. I just have to wait because unfortunately there are no toilets on this lot. 
and you cannot check if you're pregnant in a public bathroom. Well, Juliana is just making a whole bunch of nectar bottles. She's already at level five nectar making. So that part is going to be super easy. The hard part is going to be making 50 bottles of nectar. That takes a really long time. But to be honest, every single one is coming out excellent. So it shouldn't be too bad. And then we just have to sell 100,000 simoleons worth of nectar. Now that still doesn't complete everything that we want to do for this series because the goal is to get a million simoleons with the proceeds from the hotel. And you're allowed to sell nectar. You're allowed to do horses, but we're kind of over that now and they're not that profitable compared to nectar making. So we'll be focusing on nectar making with Juliana. And then we're also allowed to make money through anything else that our visitors do. So for example, Angela is a painter. So she's probably going to pay our bills so that we don't have to sell any unaged nectar. And she has an aspiration that is to complete 10 excellent paintings. Now I've almost completed all 10 paintings, but we have 3,700 simoleons about. And once she finishes all those paintings, then I'm not allowed to make her paint unless she chooses to paint, which she does do occasionally. And then sometimes you'll even have the inspired people come over here and randomly make a painting. And so you can sell those. Anything that they do autonomously is kind of like their payment for being here at the hotel. Well, I might have to get rid of the monster under the bed because unfortunately the child goes around and wakes up every single adult even if their parents are already awake. They won't stop waking up everyone until they're all awake. And then by that time the monster is so far away that no one comes to spray it. It wouldn't be so bad if she just woke up her parents, but she's going to wake up everyone in the hotel. I didn't know that you could spray the monster under the bed while you're carrying a toddler. Why are you going downstairs, Jay? That is the most weird place to put the child in order to talk to her. Well, it quite wasn't enough just selling the paintings, so we're actually going to sell some lightly aged nectar. It looks like they're not worth very much anyway. We might have to pick some other ones to sell. I thought they were all 172 simoleons, but it looks like some of them are quite small and not aged yet. Well, we sold a couple of bottles, but it still isn't enough to pay the bills. Bills are 8,628 simoleons. All right, we have 8,540. I need something else to sell. All right, that should do it. We'll sell a little bit more just so we have some extra money. I think we need to get one more horse anyway, and I don't want to be completely broke. Okay, now she wants to complete five masterpieces. Well, that'll take a long time. Well, Lei is expecting so basically we're going to have a baby a newborn here and we'll see how that goes okay we have napoleon who is a cult and he's needy brave and energetic i think that will be fine because we have an age up treat so cute hi napoleon well we're going to feed you a treat I could wait until Napoleon is temperament level four, but to be honest, I just want to have Justice get pregnant and have another foal. All right, I might have to get rid of this little drink thing because the butler keeps getting drinks and everyone else keeps getting drinks. And I would like to say that, okay, this is their access to the nectar because they won't autonomously drink glasses of nectar at least not unless you pour them and leave them out forever but it seems like they drink these things out of the little container over here way too often oh and justice is expecting a full 
All right, we've reached nectar making level five. So now we just need to make lots of nectar. Juanita's emotional control is in range to earn the uncontrolled emotions trait. I've never seen a toddler able to make any progress either way on any of those character traits. She must have thrown a lot of tantrums. For some reason, horseback riding does not count as exercise, even though I think it's a little bit of exercise at least. And Juliana has become very overweight. And it's kind of counterintuitive that she would be that way because as a jockey and someone who participates in horse competitions, especially endurance racing, you cannot be overweight. But anyway, um, we're going to go jogging with her for a little bit after she gets done collecting all the prairie grass, which should also count as working out. And then maybe she will lose a little weight. I don't know what to do with Corey, though, because her aspiration is extreme sports enthusiast and she wants to go skiing. You're just in the wrong place, Corey. Maybe we should just let her go because she keeps saying that she has unfulfilled dreams. We'll have her finish up her horseback riding because we have two new horses. And then we will let her go home because she wants to go skiing. She doesn't want to be here. Well, I was hoping you could ride the horses out of this barn, but unfortunately it looks like you cannot. I think it's because there isn't a way for the horse to turn around when it's on the horse bed. It can't go off the other end, so it tries to back up. And so I might have to redesign that barn. Or maybe I'll just call out the horses before we go for a ride. That's just how it goes. Oh, look who it is. It's Eliza Pancakes. I don't know why this door keeps getting set as my front door. For some reason, I've reset it over here again. Hopefully this door becomes my front door. I don't want them coming over here to the side door as my front door. I don't get it. What is wrong with having this one marked as my front door? Okay, she must be a new Sim because she's not even in the household with Bob anymore. She's by herself and she wants to be a mansion baron. And she's materialistic, neat, a perfectionist, and business savvy. So she has a job as a babysitter. All right, Eliza. Okay, yeah, Juliana should be active. She actually completed an active aspiration, which was the horse riding one. Oh, Jay is going to be erratic. All right. Okay, Justice is delivering her foal now. I had to actually do it manually because for some reason she was bugged. I think it's because she was inside the barn and there isn't enough room in there. And we have a cult called Dorian, who is energetic, brave, needy, and curious. Hello, Dorian. What I might actually do then is open up this barn so that it doesn't have quite so many stalls because I don't think I really want 10 horses anyway. You know, I rearrange this and assign their beds so that they have large stalls. And what do they do? All congregate in the small stall. Ah, well, maybe I can just prevent horses from coming in here because, to be honest, I wanted to save these little stalls for the goats and sheep anyway. You know, if my hotel guests have enough energy and they're all in the green, I'm going to send them out here to tend this table because Juliana does not have the time. She's harvesting prairie grass. She's trying to keep up with the animals. Even though I have a ranch hand, there are certain things the ranch hand will not do. Like, for example, he will not empty the dumpsters. And it seems like I can't even get the butler to do that. So instead of just riding horses, we will allow people to help out in any way that they can, as long as their needs are completely full. I would get Juliana married and have children so that I could tell them to do whatever I needed them to do. But to be honest, there's just too many Sims on this lot and it gets too laggy if I have too many. 
Jay wants to earn silver at a dinner party event. Well, we have to throw a dinner party if we want to do that. I'm not sure how it would be to throw a dinner party. Well, we could just invite the people here at the hotel. That would make sense. Well, that's easy to earn silver. Just have everybody call to meal. And we need to socialize with the guests and make a dessert. But it doesn't really matter, it seems like. This is nice that we get to see Juliana and her party wear. I don't think I've seen her party outfit yet. Well, that's gold. The only thing is, he is a freelancer. And he's supposed to reach level 4 of the culinary career? Your aspiration does not match your job, Jay. I think we might have to get him a different job. Oh, Lei is having her baby. Should we send her to the hospital? Okay, we're going to send her to the hospital alone because I don't want anyone else going. Um, but actually, maybe I shouldn't do that because then I would, won't get to pick the bassinet. Oh no, I have bunches of bassinets up here. Okay, so wherever the baby appears and whichever bassinet it appears, then Lei will actually get that room. And it's a girl. We're going to call her Brianna. Hello, Brianna. And we're also going to have Angelo be over here on the left side. Actually, I think that is a little bit too close in the corner. Let me make sure that she can get there. No. Yeah, I think that bassinet is just blocked by the suitcases. I'm going to have to change. Maybe the suitcases should be on the other side and the potty should be over there. No, she still can't get to it. I did not play test this. Okay, that's better. I think that the shelf was in the way. Although the shelves on the walls are not supposed to take up room. They actually do take up a little bit of room. Because the Sims would otherwise clip with them. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. It is Juanita's birthday. She's going to be a child. Happy birthday, Juanita. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice that you were going to grow up today. No more toddlers. We just have the newborn. And I don't want lazy. I'm sorry. You cannot be lazy. Perfectionist. Sure. Because I do not want piles of clothes everywhere. You can be a artistic prodigy. Alright, now you can take care of yourself. Oh no! Lei got poisoned! That's the second person that got poisoned. She has a new baby. That's so sad. All right, well, at least I have a computer this time, so I can just buy the antidote if she doesn't work through it herself, and we'll go ahead and pay a thousand simoleons for her to get better. Yeah, this purchase antidote doesn't show up unless you have a computer, and on my other lot, I wasn't allowed to leave the lot, and I also wasn't allowed to purchase a computer. So luckily, that doesn't apply anymore. Okay, that's better. We'll just get rid of the green spots. I don't want her death on my hands. Okay, Justice is expecting another foal. And then hopefully we can get Dorian up to level 4 temperament skill. And that means we can age him up and he will have another trait. Right now, we're just getting Eliza to sell some stuff. Oh, Brittani and El Faba both look like they're pregnant. I'm pretty sure they are because I know what those Sims normally look like. Well, so far, it seems like everything takes really long to age. I only have lightly aged nectars. So I need to figure out if these things are not aging correctly because of the long lifespan. Or maybe the fact that I just have too much going on on this lot. I don't know. Well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.